In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of normal distributions using the uh, z-scores. So let's go ahead and do a few practice problems. So here's our first practice problem. A cheetah's average speed is 64 kilometers an hour and has a standard deviation of 10 kilometers an hour. Assume cheetah's speeds are normally distributed. And then our first question is, what is the range of speeds of the central 68% of cheetah speeds? Okay, well, let's draw what this looks like. So we know that we are working with a normal distribution. So it looks something like this. We know that we're centered around our mean and our mean is given to us is 64 kilometers an hour. And then we know that we have a standard deviation of 10 kilometers an hour. So this becomes 74, 84, and 94. This is 54, 44, 34. And we're asked, what is the central 68% of cheetah speeds? Well, we know that the central 68% of observations are found within plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean. So A, our range of speeds is between 54 kilometers per hour and 74 kilometers an hour, right? That's between negative one standard deviations from the mean and positive one standard deviations from the mean. Okay, question B. What is the probability that a cheetah is running uh, at less than 52%, 52 kilometers per hour? So B, we're gonna calculate a Z score here. So Z is equal to the observed value of X minus the expected value of X divided by the standard deviation of X. So in this case, the observed value uh, less than 52. So 52 minus 64, that's our expected value divided by 10. So 52 minus 64 is, tw is uh, negative 12 divided by 10 is equal to negative 1.2. So that's our z-score that's associated with it. So we can draw our standard normal curve. Our standard normal curve looks like this. It's centered around zero. And what we've just calculated is a z-score of negative 1.2. And what we're asked is what is the probability that it's less than that? So what is the probability? It's in this blue shaded region. So the probability that Z is less than or equal to negative 1.2 is equal to, we're gonna look up negative 1.2 on our Z table. So we go to our standard normal table. Probably erase some of these here. We don't need these here. We're gonna look up negative 1.2. So negative 1.20 is right here. That's uh, 0 0.11507. So 0 0.11507, right? So the probability that a cheetah runs at less than 52 kilometers an hour is 0 0.11507. And then finally C, what is the probability that the cheetah is running at greater than 78 kilometers an hour? So C, we can draw our, we can draw our curve here. Let's just let's draw it properly. Draw our curve, looks like this, right? What are we centered around? We're centered around 64 kilometers an hour. And we want to know what is the probability that they run at 78 kilometers an hour or faster. So Z is equal to 78 minus the expected value of 64 divided by 10, which is equal to um, 78 minus 64 gives us 14 divided by 10, which is equal to 1.4. So the probability that Z is greater than or equal to 1.4 is equal to one minus the probability 
that z is less than or equal to 1.4, right? That's this area to the left, less than or equal to uh, 28. <clears throat> so we look up 1.4 on our z table. So let's look up 1.4. We look up 1.4 and we get 1.4. 0 0.91924, 0 0.91924, so is equal to 1 minus 0 0.91924, which is equal 1 minus 0 0.91924, which is equal to 0 0.08076. Okay, that's this area right here to the left. So in other words, therefore, the probability that um, X is greater than or equal to 78 kilometers per hour is equal to 0 0.08076. Okay, let's go to our next question. So the monarch butterfly will travel an average of 47 kilometers a day when they are migrating. Assume you can apply a normal distribution for the distance travel. If 75% of monarch butterflies fly 68 kilometers or less in a day, what is the standard deviation? Okay, well, this is a bit of a different question. So let's go ahead and just draw our normal distribution, right? So it's, we're told that it's normally distributed. We're told that on average, they travel 47 kilometers a day. So our expected value is 47 kilometers. And then we're told this other value here in part A that is 75% of butterflies fly 68 kilometers or less. In other words, this area to the left should reflect a probability of 0 0.75. Okay, so what is the standard deviation? Well, we need to solve for our associated Z score. So we need to make a standard normal curve. So we draw our standard normal curve, centered again around zero. We don't know exactly what this Z equals, but we do know that the area to the left of it is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so let's look, go to our Z table and look up the probability of 0 0.75. So we go to our Z table, we look up 0 0.75. I'm just going to erase this, we don't need that. 0 0.75, so 0 0.75 is somewhere between 0 0.67 and 0 0.68. So we're going to say it's somewhere between these two values. So what we're going to do is call it uh, 0.675. It's probably about halfway between um, those two values. So our Z is equal to the observed value of X minus the expected value of X divided by our standard deviation of X. If we know that Z is equal to 0.675, this is equal to x minus the expected value of x divided by our standard deviation of x. Well, we can simply rearrange to solve for our standard deviation of x. So our standard deviation is equal to 68 minus 47, right? That's our expected value, divided by our z score, which is 0 0.675. So our standard deviation, so 68 minus 47 divided by 0 0.675 gives us a standard deviation of 31.11 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we found our, our um, standard deviation. How far do the top 2.5% of all monarch butterflies travel in a single day? That's our next question, B. So our top two and a half percent, we don't know what the value is, but we do know 
that the area to the right is equal to 0 0.025, right? So again, we're centered around our expected value, 47, and we're looking for whatever this value is here, but we do know that the area to the right is equal to 0 0.025. Same thing, we can draw our standard normal curve, which looks like this, centered around zero. We're looking for our Z score. And in this case, the probability to the right is equal to 0 0.025. Now, Z tables don't give us the area to the right, they give us the area to the left. So one minus 0 0.025 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.025 is equal to 0 0.975, right? So the area to the left of whatever this Z score equals is equal to 0 0.975. So from there, we're going to go to our Z table and look up 0 0.975. So let's go to our Z table and look up 0 0.975. So 0 0.975 is right here at 1.96. So what we're going to do here is Z is equal to our observed value of X minus the expected value of X divided by our standard deviation of X. We know that um, our z-score, our associated z-score is equal to 1.96, is equal to x minus our expected value of x, which is 47. And we also know our standard deviation that was calculated in A to be 31.11. So we're going to rearrange this equation. So this becomes 31.11 times 1.96 plus 47 equal to x so 31.11 times 1.96 plus 47 gives us 107.9756 is equal to x okay so the top two and a half percent of monarch butterflies travel 107.97 or 98 kilometers or more, okay? And then what percentage of monarch butterflies travel less than 35 kilometers in a day? So again, we'll draw our normal distribution here. We're centered around 47 kilometers per hour. We're asked what percentage of Monarch butterflies travel less than 35 kilometers an hour. Or sorry, 35 kilometers in a day, not per hour. So we're just going to calculate our standard Z score. So Z is equal to X minus X bar divided by our standard deviation of X. So this is 35 minus 47 divided by our standard deviation, which is 31.11. So 35 minus 40, 40, sorry, this is 47, minus 47 is negative 12, divided by 31.11, gives us a Z score of negative 0 0.39, since we'll round to two decimal points, since we only have two decimal points, so on our standard normal curve, what does this look like? Looks like this, centered around zero. We have our point here of negative 0 0.39. We're interested in what is the probability that they travel less than that. So the probability that Z is less than or equal to negative 0 0.39. It's just equal to the area to the left, so look up negative 0 0.39. So we get here, let's just erase this. Negative 0 0.39 is right here. And this is equal <clears throat> to
to 0 0.34827. And just like that, we've solved um, a number of different a number of different problems using our normal distribution and learned how to use our Z scores accordingly. That's it for this video. But if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.